Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of Valerian. Last time we landed on the island and we're currently trying to, yeah, explore it. But the first thing that we did is uh, we went into a town. Unfortunately, the guards oh, already nice. didn't like us. Hmm. All right, you can go in. But I've got. Cool. So, let's take a look. Might you be looking for work? Our role here is your reward. Fantastic. Let's review our opportunities. Couple of easy stuff. I like that. Very good. And I think I want uh, the tome location. Oh, the tome is here on the island. Well, I guess uh, this time we're going to do a tome. Futurist. Clever. Uh, but doesn't have the necessary willpower. I'm sorry. Man, I would recruit you guys, but Nothing scares me. can I get a somewhat decent one? Were there pirates in a row? I'd like to discover new places and travel the world. Yeah, that's all cool. You can do that, but you need to be a futurist, and it would also be appropriate that you don't suck. And if both of that is not true, then Our we will take you. Edge. It seems sure its farm has been raided by pirates. Ray Pin Flumby. Damage inflicted by boarding and ballista and comet is doubled. I like that. Um, but I don't know where to get the race from. Uh, potentially we need an angler for that and we don't have one at the moment. Plus, unfortunately, our slaves are gone. Dear Linson went off to inspect Shora's farm. I should have insisted that she take me along. Good. Remedy sounds uh, fine. Every time this unit deals a critical hit, they regain 5% of their maximum health. Hmm. That's actually not bad uh, if you had a bear. I'm thinking. You know, um, the tank can, the tank can very much uh, be attacked and also uh, deal critical hit damage. We, uh, they do have a couple of uh, skills, specifically the swordsman does have a few. It's not a it's not a bad option before we go on let's first and foremost Dianinson went off Craft. Good, so crafted in the finest Syrian tradition. Ointment can be used to treat companion's injury. I see. So that is just for injuries. It's just a different recipe. So if we get seaweed. It seems to be uh, just as good. Good. Mountain Willow and the other one requires Marsh Parsley. 
Uh, we don't have that, neither of it. But what we do have um, is a lot of options to smith something. It seems though as if there is no blacksmith around, which will make this here much more difficult. But we can nonetheless start to explore. I like it how they have implemented kind of fruits uh, that are much more southern in their appeal. We're getting the aptitude point. All right, Jim. We could get you to crit. I think there was uh, one of the upgraded skills. I don't remember it. I think it was hardcore training. Uh, let's you crit 100% of uh, the time. If you would be affected by poison, bleeding, and burning. And that's almost always happening. going for 18 movement I really want to make sure that we uh, can solidly be at the front line with cook we get a great extra deal in constitution which is good for us as a tank uh, because we want him to have a healthy big fat uh, pool of hit points question of the day how many torches do we have because if we are now going into a temple I would want to make sure that we have plenty and one is not necessarily plenty if you understand what I mean Good, let's put Titan down here. Get to the market, which does not exist here. Hmm. Well, as long as we don't have enough torches, it's very hard to justify that we're just rushing in there. Which means at the moment the temple is an afterthought. But there is plenty of island to explore. We can always come back to the temple. It's interesting that they also do have their patrols here. You would think that in such a pirate ridden environment a bit of a lawless place but that is not the case instead we're finding Shora's farm well maybe it is the case maybe it is indeed quite lawless Kidnapping. I saw their ship sailing away from the coast. Bring back the farmers they kidnapped and exterminate. Good, no problem. You want me to just kill them? Easy. We are actually quite good at killing. I would love to woodshop, but all of our jobs 
I want to give up 123 experience just to woodshop. We're going to get slaves again. And rest assured, once we have some, we'll get woodshop um, and ore. Waterproof and shellfish. I like it. So, this here gives us a wonderful new point we can use. And let's see, what else can we learn? I like the idea of more armor. Helmets are good. And more experienced armor, the ghost set is fantastic. There could actually be a couple of nice upgrades for us. Just need to fight the ghost pack often enough and then we're going to be fine. Another cool part is just look at how little we're consuming. Thanks to the small size of our party, almost consuming nothing. And we found the arena. Which means... I didn't even know that this... Uh, uh, that this session would be all about the arena, but here we go. It is all about the arena. I always come to watch. Oris was born in Arke. Sorry, but the rule. When they anyone can challenge our champion as long as they have at oh, least one fighter we get armed with a katana. A ripper. That is nice. Okay, we have enough tools, so that is fine. Uh, didn't eat the Big Fat King's Feast, but I think we should still be okay. At least one of the participants must be armed with brawling weapons. No! Okay, you are forcing us to have a brawler. Okay. Well played, game. Well played. What's this here? Neutral bandits? Well, they haven't done anything to us. I mean, they are pirates, and as such, I should potentially kill them, but we can't just pick random fights. Ah, uh, disappointing. I wanted to go into the arena so bad. But that means before we're doing it, we need to find the right brawler. And that just means Nothing kissing a lot me. of frogs. Yeah, the Snora thing is not good. Not happening. I don't I'd like, like it uh, when people don't get along with each other. Neither in real life nor in game. Good as for our ship. Hemp and fins. I think the fin... That could be either a fin of a, uh, of a fish or I think in this particular case you need to build them. Okay, 
poofed. I see. Three knots with tailwind. When the wind doesn't completely fill the gouge, rowing provides... That is good. Cradian steel, okay. Yeah, well, that's a little bit above our pay grade for now. But we're going to get there. Oh, and we haven't even started discovering the rest. 25 hours? I think that's more like 40, 50 hours of gameplay. Can't really do much about the pirates. Right, we're not. Yep, we were not yet uh, fatigued. Let's go. Good, it's a fair four versus four yet again. I would like to get one of those brawlers. At the end of the day, there is so much content for them to explore. We're going to make it a five man team. And this guy is going to be the off tank. Okay, gotcha. Guess who's going overboard? Damn right, it's a you. I like the idea of them going overboard. Yeah, we don't need to do anything yet. love to understand what that fervor skill is. All right, new round, here we go. I think I do have a really nice idea. <laughs> hey, surprise. I was gone. Good hit. I like it. Get this guy off. And we're good. Ah, 
I like the ballista. Good. Potentially broken in in bigger engagements. And that hunter's shot is definitely broken because it does not require you to use your standard action, which means you can push someone over and then follow up by insta-killing them. Good. The question is, do we need more movement with Fluffy Janitor? Could go all the way up to 20. Sometimes he needs to go behind the enemy, so I think that's n not completely out of uh, the ordinary. 18 is good which means we're just career planning you 22 crit loot all of that and what do we have heavy armor i think ours is better to be fair should upgrade the bow at some point just to deal more damage the bow itself is good we can find uh, the Brotherhood, then that will be the easiest uh, insta upgrade that we have seen in a while. The bow that we're currently having is also very good. Uh, the first, uh, first strike is fantastic and oh, I think we've just been damaged. This is Sinan. Uh, the guy that is our direct rival. So here we go, boys. Let's let's get the rival down. Good, bring it on. I wonder if we have to fight all ten of these battles. That would be uh, typical to kind of get and climb to the top of the leaderboard. Moves to here, moves to there, moves to there. Nice hit and good crit. Hits him and pushes him back and we're trying to move back. Apparently we have a bit of an, a unit's advantage against them. They are only three and we are four. Well. On those ships, it actually makes a pretty sizable difference because here's the deal. Um, if you can catch them nicely off guard, then you are de facto eliminating one of them. And I think if two players would play that, there would be a matter of once you have moved, uh, mm, the other one would try to swing in and so on and so forth like for instance this here is a sheer invitation to come in right afterwards don't have an offhand anymore that's bad you definitely need to get one
Oh, really? Haven't pushed uh, them far enough. Well, now you are in Mortal Kombat with one of the most trained fighters that have ever lived, Jim. Uh oh, he dropped. Well, that's not great. So what are you going to do? See, you're hitting for one. You're hitting like a little girl. At best. This guy, on the other hand, does hit quite hard. Sinan, uh, I can't see why he's considered to be the boss. And apparently, you can't move him. Hmm. That's really unfortunate. Well, now all of a sudden they hit a little bit harder. Appreciate that you needed some time. drop him hmm. not sure we're going to find out it will deal some damage We definitely need to get his guard down. It's completely unacceptable. Just the amount of damage that he's mitigating. All right, ballista shot. Here we go. For nine points of damage. All right, we land, but Sinan is just not a guy who is into going overboard. He does like it. He instead fights dirty. Hopefully, he only strikes once. Yep, well. There you go. Finally, his stupid protection is down. And whilst we're at it, let's just weaken him. Good, lots of crits, but this guy is a absolute berserker. 
Luckily for us, he's not immune to all of the other tricks that we do have, such as poisoning him. Or just striking him in the back repeated times. Stubbornness. The enemy has no health remaining but refuses to die until he faced you in a duel. You can challenge the captain to a duel with a melee attack, otherwise he'll try to challenge you when it's his turn. I uh, uh really? Can someone be challenged? Big ship energy. <laughs> I like the naming. Uh, when Hell Three, they try to trigger a duel. Every. Uh, time as soon as engaged, they gain favor. Immovable. Okay, that makes sense. At the end of the turn, the unit gains one favor. When they reach seven favor, okay, cool. Well, that ex that explains a lot. I'm just trying to get Valor points. Ouch. Down to one vil uh, willpower. Alright. An enemy captain's uh, words announce the next action. Interpret them words correctly and choose the appropriate response. If you attack uh, when the opponent taunts, you will hit them. If you parry the attack, what? If you attack when an opponent taunts, you will hit them. If you parry when they attack, you will avoid uh, the hit. If you taunt when they parry, you will get the upper hand. The upper hand allows you to hit your enemy if you attack at the same time at them and if you parry successfully. You cannot use the same action twice Die. in a row, so it's uh, mm, rock, paper, scissor. Alright, what did he say? Oh, he said die. Um, I think we're countering. Come on then, ye knave! If the parrying unit has the upper hand, the unit hits the enemy. Okay, we're attacking. <laughs> Die. Per hand. Come on then, ye knave. Uh, die. 
I like the little mini game. It's not very complicated, but it is good theater. All right, Sinan. Die like the scumbag you are. That was actually a, a harsh fight. The Denison of He. Crews defeated, missions won, treasures found. Oh, they have defeated a lot of crews. 700 crews defeated. Yeah, okay, well. Good, we're looting it all. So, privateer is boarding Cutlass, that's exactly what we had. Um, no, it's actually a little bit different. Fe Fever. Um, yeah, it's a very similar, uh, it's very similar, but a little bit stronger than ours. Then, this is the movable skill. Oh boy, that is helpful. Our front line is immovable. Yeah. Mm hmm. I value that quite highly, specifically on those boat fights. Cool. Jim got himself some tanking gear. <laughs> Yarr. I think next up we're just going to engage with whatever is up here. I would really like to upgrade so to find the our bro uh, the Brotherhood. Pirates. Let's go, baby. Jim will get the position down there. They do have uh, the upper hand numbers wise. But, but, we are higher, we are equal level, which for the difficulty that we're playing on is quite an exception. Nice. That's what I was uh, waiting for. I think he's dead. Maybe. Yeah. Lord Sibilista. I like the ballista. I want to get one myself. Yeah, 
Yeah, see you later, bro. I need to push your ballista guy down. into slowing down aka killing him so that he doesn't move at all Can't really do anything meaningful. Might as well smash down and if this guy. You know what? We're going to push him off. Good, because now the next um, shot will very much push this guy off. Good timing. Got a nice level 5 dagger with Guile. Damage to the target. If not engaged, Ellie is next to, uh, next to the ally. The ally forces the target to engage and gains one. Okay. We've gained a pirate map. That might be here or here. For the time being, I think we're going to land at the shipyard and call it a day. Been a long mission. couple of pirates north. It's great to see that there are other ships that are fighting the pirates. Good. I'll call it here. I'm going to check if I can get a little bit better luck uh, with uh, the brawlers that we're getting and maybe I'll do a tour in the background uh, just to train skills and uh, start <clears throat> building armor. I'll be back in the next episode with hopefully uh, some good news. So, see you later. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed uh, War Tales Pirates of Beleriand, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.